Hi guys and welcome to 123MyIT's video on how to create a bootable Windows 8.1 USB drive. Okay guys, so today we're going to show you how to create a bootable uh, Windows 8.1 USB drive. Uh, there is a page on the 123MyIT website, so go to 123myit.com and if you type in uh, Windows 8.1 bootable USB and just do a search. It's on the main page now because it's the latest post that I've done, but if we uh, do a search there, you'll be able to find it a lot more easy. So basically what do you need guys to um, to uh, set up? Well, obviously you need to, you need a USB, okay? And it has to be four gig or size or larger. We need the Windows 8.1 ISO file, and you can actually get it from the download section of the 123MyIT website. Um, you just click there and it will take you automatically to it. Um, this will actually install on any device that runs Windows, so you'll need a, uh, uh, like a, a Windows laptop or um, uh, just any type of PC that runs Windows to be able to set this up. And you also need the product key. Now, the product key and the ISO are on the same download page, um, so the DVD file or the ISO file as they call it, you'll be able to find it here on the download, Windows download page. Um, if you've already got a Windows 8 product key, you can get the latest update directly from them. You don't have to use the one that's going th on the uh, 123MyIT website. Okay, so what do we do now? So what we need to do is download um, this uh, ISO file. So if we go to the downloads and we scroll down to where it says Windows 8.1 downloads, here's the serial key. Okay. And here's the, you can have the 64-bit version, which is 3.8 gig. You can download it directly from Microsoft here. And the 32-bit, you can download as well. So I've already downloaded the, um, the file uh, to my desktop here. And this is it here. Um, so it's Windows 8 Blue Clients. So this is the preview edition. And you can use the serial code there to, to open it up. Now... Window, if you're using an earlier version of Windows, like Windows 7, um, you can't actually double click and mount this file like a CD drive. With Windows 8, you can do that. So if I double click on this now, it will actually mount it and it will get, call it a H drive. And you can see it here um, uh, under, it's just like a DVD, uh, like an actual DVD. It's called a virtual DVD. But if you, if you don't have Windows 8, so for example, if you've got Windows 7 and you're trying to create a, um, a USB key to install or upgrade any of your PCs, then what you'll need to do is actually go and download um, any type of um, uh, ISO mounting uh, um, tools, tools or, or software. So if you just go to go to Google, type in ISO um, mounts. And you'll be able to find some software there for Windows 7, which will download. Uh, a good one is uh, Magic ISO, Power ISO. They're quite good ones. They're actually burning software ones. Another one is Daemon Tools. So if you, uh, one I always use is called Daemon Tools, and I'll let you guys find that one for yourself. Okay, so once you've downloaded your software and then you've opened your your file here, okay. Um, you should see this sort of setup. Now this is within, all these files are actually uh, within this Windows file. And well, what we want to do is we want to actually copy those, to, those files there directly to our um, USB drive, okay? So what we're going to do now, we'll go back to the 123MyIT website. Okay, uh, how, so how do you create the, the, the uh, Windows 8.1 USB drive from the DVD or ISO file. Okay, so I've got a I've got a USB drive here, so I'm just going to plug it in the side. The next step here is to open up your command prompt. So if we go to, uh, it says Windows key and then R. Okay, brings up your run screen. And then in run, if you just type in CMD and then hit enter. Or if you wanted to and you're using Windows 8, you can just hit your Windows key. Go CMD in the search, and it will come up as well. All right. So the next step here, whoop. the next step here is to we will start 
actually running these list of commands here. So first one here is to actually start this partitioning uh, tool. So we type this part and then hit enter. All right. And then we'll have this other screen pop up or it may actually pop up in the same screen. Okay. We go list disk. So we want to find out what disk we have attached to this machine here. So this one is my regular, um, uh, this one is my secondary D drive, this one is my primary hard disk, 238 gig, that's my SSD drive, and this last disk here is the USB which I've just installed, uh, and it's a 30 gig drive, okay, so just be really careful here guys, because we're now about to delete and format the USB, and if you haven't identified your uh, disk here, you will actually delete any co contents on it by running the rest of these commands, so just be really sure that you know which uh, disk is your USB drive. Um, if you're nervous about doing it, take out your other disks just so you're out of your machine so you don't format them. Okay, so with this disk, we know that my disk is disk 2. So the next, one, next command we're going to run here is select disk 2. Okay, it's now, di now disk 2 is selected. So now that we've selected our USB, we can start running the commands on it. So the first command is clean. We're going to clean it. Okay, now that deletes any existing partitions on it. Let me uh, let's close this other one off. Okay, uh, then the next one is create partition primary and then enter. Okay, and that will just set the partition that we just created as the primary partition on the USB. Okay, and the next one we run is uh, select partition one. Okay, so it's selected. We're going to go active. Okay, and we're going to now, uh, what's the next one here? We're going to format the USB drive, so we go format, space, file system, or FS, and then equals NTFS, okay, and what we want to do as well, I haven't put it here, but you should put quick afterwards, otherwise it will take ages to, uh, to format a disk, and it's only 30 gigs in size, but if you don't put the quick in there, then it will take a long time to actually uh, um, format that disk. Okay, and there we have it. So that's now completed. All right, um, we just go assign. Okay, and that will also assign a volume to the to the drive letter, and you can see that it's now picked it up as local disk F. Okay, and uh, then we just go exit. And then we're done now. Okay, so now we've actually prepared the USB uh, so that it's, uh, it, we can actually now uh, copy all the data from your Windows 8.1 uh, file on your desktop that you downloaded, or uh, if you've got a DVD, we can also copy all the all the data from the Windows DVD to the USB now, and I'll show you that command now. Okay, guys. So the next command here, what we want to do, and Microsoft says you need to do some other commands here, but I have actually never needed to um, to do any other boot commands or anything like that. So we're going to run a command now called xcopy, and that will copy. And I'll just explain this this whole command to. You. Xcopy is the software used to copy the data from the H drive, which is my, um, it, it can either be your DVD drive or it can be your um, mounted uh, Windows 8.1 drive. And we want to copy everything. So star dot star means we want to copy everything, all files from that H drive to the F drive, which is going to be our USB, and we're going to, that's how we're going to create a Windows 8 USB, 8.1 USB. And then there's some switches here which actually um, do some other funny things there. So 
if we go back into our command prompt, okay, and first of all, what you need to do is just make sure that your H drive and F drive are the right drives. So if we open up a um, Explorer window here, we will see, okay, that's the mounted uh, Windows 8.1 64-bit um, drive or file. So, so this H drive is a mounted file of, of, of this uh, uh, Windows 8.1 file on the desktop. And uh, this drive here is the F drive, the USB that we just created and just formatted. Okay, so if we look back at the command now without getting too complicated about it, we want to X copy everything in the H drive. Okay, so this is our H drive or our DVD drive. It can be a DVD or it can be a mounted ISO Windows 8.1 file. And we want to copy that to the F drive, which is our newly uh, our new uh, 30 gig USB drive and these other switches will actually set it all up for us. Okay, so we're going to copy that. Or you can just type it, you can type, I'll type it out, x copy space h backslash and we want to do our, all our files, everything on the H drive space to our F drive or our USB drive backslash and then space forward slash E space forward slash H space oop, forward slash oop, forward slash H slash forward slash F all right and then all you need to do is just hit enter and bang now you can see it's copying all the files from H across to our E drive all right, now there's, this will take a little while um, to go through, but if we have a look real quick here at our H drive, what we'll do is we'll copy all these details here, which is uh, all these files from this Windows 8.1 uh, 8 uh, mounted ISO file, or it could be a, your DVD drive and it's going to copy it all across to, let me just go back here, to this local uh, disk F drive. And you can see it's all starting to copy in there now. So if I leave that like that, we should be able to see some of those files populating in there now. Now this, the big file on here is this install.wim, which contains all of the Windows files. Um, if you, if any of you are familiar with taking an image or using images in Windows or on Windows Server, the install.wim file is the main file that, uh, that Windows uses to store all its little bits and pieces. So what I could actually do is create like a, a custom install.wim file and with all like drivers and software on there. And I could actually delete this one out that's being put in now and replace it with a custom one that has all the all my own custom little bits of software. And when I when I use this USB, I would have all the software already preloaded for me. All right, so that's the advantage of doing it this way. Um, but for now, we're just showing you how to copy and set up just a stock standard USB Windows 8.1 USB drive. All right, so what I'll do is I'll stop the video for now and we'll pick it up once this keeps copying because it's a large file. Thanks, guys. Okay, so that's it, guys. You can see at the end there, it says uh, 2,059 files copied. Okay, and if you look here, we've now got a direct... Let me open it up again. We've now got a direct copy of this USB F drive, which exact same copy of files as this H drive. All right, so we can now use this USB drive to install Windows 
via a USB. Okay guys, so I've just plugged in the USB into this old Toshiba that I've got here and I'm pressing F12 to boot into the USB. Okay, so this is the boot menu uh, for the Toshiba and we're going to just scroll down to USB memory which is number 5 and then we're going to hit enter and this is just to show you that the USB uh, should boot fine into Windows and uh, allow us to install Windows without any issues. Alright, so there's the Windows 8.1 blue little fish that comes up there. Okay, and there's the Windows 8.1 setup screen. Alright guys, so that's pretty much it. So if you follow those uh, steps, you should be able to uh, create a, a Windows 8.1 bootable USB. Uh, these steps will also work for uh, Windows 7 as well and Windows 8. Alright guys, so thanks for watching. If this was helpful, please leave a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe on the YouTube channel. And thanks for watching. Bye bye.